Okay, this tutorial is just going to talk you through um, how to create watercolour text effects um, in Photoshop, so something a little bit like what we've got on um, the example here. Um, so the first thing you need to do is open up a new document, and um, we're going to set it to 540 by 300 pixels, and then just um, pop the resolution down for now, just for um, the example piece down to 72 um, pixels per inch, and click OK. Um, the first thing you need to do is just unlock the background layer. So if you just double click on this here, you get a little option to come up here and we can just quickly retitle it background. Um, and then you need to open up the layer style. So I do this by holding down um, command and right clicking on um, this bit here. <clears throat> um, once you've got the window open, if you... Um, go into the um, pattern overlay options and you need to open up the um, artist style palette um, that's what I've already got open up here um, once you've found that if you open it up if you sort of hover over um, the different styles you can select them and you can see them um, going onto the background one so I'm just going to go for um, this one here so wax crayon on vellum um, and then I'm just going to change the opacity down to around 50% and uh, sorry 10% um, and the scale to um, 50% so we can just actually just change that <coughs> um, in there um, and you can have a little look at it just check that you're happy with it play around you you might want to choose one of the um, other options you just want it to have that kind of textury um, watercolor like sort of background um, and click OK um, once you've done that, if you open up um, a new layer, so we can just pop a new layer by clicking on this link here. Um, I'm just gonna select um, the text. I'm using a font called um, Plane Crash because I wanted something a little bit more texturally. Um, what I did was downloaded that, so if you want to do that, um, you could use a website like Defont. So this is the one um, that I got mine from. They've got lots of different fonts, so all you do is when you find one that you like is um, click on download fonts, it will open up a little box um, like this on your screen just double click on it and it will open up the font in a separate window um, you can click install font and then you'll be able to find it in your fonts um, when you go back into Photoshop um, so that's quite handy if you can't quite find the font that you want um, already in Photoshop um, so because this is just a little example I'm going to use um, water um, if you just hit the D key it should reset the um, Sorry, not when we're um, typing. If I just click off of that. Um, if you just hit the D key, you should see just down here that's just changed back to um, blacks, um, which is just a quick way to get back to um, black text. I'm just going to delete that second layer I've accidentally created. Um, and just type water. Um, obviously, you can type whatever word um, it is that you want to be um, using for yours. Um, I'm just using water as an example. Um, so I'm just going to make that a little bit bigger as well. So let's go for 100. Okay. Okay, so once you do that, if we go into layer, um, new layer, so we're just going to call this the paint layer because this is going to be the layer that um, we'll be painting onto in a second. Um, and now we're going to create our watercolour brush. Um, so if you um, click onto the brush tool and then select one of these um, softer brushes and then we just want to set the size to about 35 <coughs> pixels um, and then open up the brush um, option so we can do um, some more here. So we want to go into our brush um, options here. Um, so what we want to do is go into the um, sorry texture options, and then I want to pick that same texture that I've got on my um, background, <coughs> and then um, go into the um, transfer options and change the opacity to just make sure that that's on. 
um, and click on the wet edges option so you can start to see these um, just different marks here um, and then if we just close that window down then we just want to come up to here make sure that you're on multiply we want to put the opacity down onto um, sort of around between sort of 10 and 20 um, percent so I'm going to stick it on 20 percent for now um, and change the flow down to 50 percent <clears throat> and that's our um, watercolour brush sorted um, so now you kind of only want to colour the text so the way that we do that is um, if you just click back onto the um, your text layer I'm just going to use the magic wand tool to quickly click so if you hold down the shift key and then click across to the next layer you'll see it's just selecting the black um, oops, on that um, I'm just going to zoom in so I can just get that little section there as well um, and zoom out so you can see all the little um, dotted lines sort of dashing around the outside. If you click back onto the paint layer and then just remove the little eye here, so now we can just see that space so we're not um, seeing the black text as well, and zoom in and then click back onto our um, brush tool. This is where you can start to add this sort of watercolour effect with your text. So I'm going to start with um, just a sort of soft sort of blue. Um, this is the bit that sort of takes a bit of practice. It does take getting used to. There's different techniques. I haven't quite mastered it um, yet, so sort of try sort of doing a little up and down kind of motion along the top so I tend to sort of colour in the top of the letter um, to start with um, then maybe sort of select a different colour if you just click down like this then you can keep the same sort of um, palette as it were um, and then do the same sort of motion so just a little bit of um, that sort of up and down sort of motion between the letters that seems to uh, make quite a nice effect and then I'm just going to go for a sort of green at the bottom so you can see it's really quite faint, so um, but that's what gives it that kind of watercolory effect. Um, so you could go for something a bit brighter on the next letter, maybe, and you could try maybe sort of moving in sort of circular motion, so sort of getting the outsides of the letters um, move down. We get maybe a green and sort of just go around in that same sort of motion. So you're sort of just really carefully sort of going around the same way that you sort of would almost if you were. Um, doing it by hand um, and that's it really that's um pretty much the technique so I'll just go through and finish it off so we can see some different um, color combinations and things um, so it's nice if you get that little point there where you're sort of just overlaying it tends to then just color um, the other letters um, quite nicely Um, you could also, I suppose, um, do all of these just exactly the same, um, which might make it a little bit... It depends what sort of look you're going for. OK, so once you've done that, um, if you just um, deselect your sort of selected area, so I do that by holding um, Command and D, and then we're sort of left with our nice watercolory sort of style piece. Um, and then what we need to do is go back in and um, just remove um, our black text layer, um, and that's it. So that's how you create a kind of watercolory effect um, piece in Photoshop.